All right, guys, you'll probably see several of these types of questions, okay? For example, Joe has $20 to spend at the movies. He spends $12.90 on his ticket and $14.17 on popcorn, or $4.17 on popcorn. How much change will he get back? All right, to figure this out, we've got to understand that this means how much he's going to have left, which means that I'm going to be subtracting. Starting out with $20. $20 and I've got to take away how much he has spent. And he spends $12.90 and $4.17. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is add $12.90 and $4.17. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase my board to give myself some workspace. And remember, when I'm adding and subtracting decimals, the most important thing is that I line up my decimal point. So with 1290, there's my decimal. For to add 417, I've got to make sure my decimal points line up on top of each other. So my ones places are on top of each other. My tenths places are on top of each other. My hundredths places are on top of each other. Then I can add just like normal. 7 plus 0, 7. 9 plus 1, 10. Bringing down my decimal point. 1 plus 2, 3 plus 4 is 7. 1 plus nothing is 1. So this totals how much Joe has spent at the movie theater. And what I want you to notice or understand is that a lot of times the test makers are going to go ahead and put this as an answer choice. However, if we go back to the question, it's asking how much change did he get? So I've got to take 1707 away from the money that he had to begin with, which was $20. And if we remember, we've got to line up our decimal points in the number 20, that decimal point, even though we can't see it all the time, is still there. I've got no tenths, no hundredths. Now I can take away 17 and seven cents. Okay, got to borrow all the way from over here because I can't do zero minus seven and there's nothing to take here. That goes to back to one. That turns into a nine. Now I can do 10 minus seven, which is three. Nine minus zero, nine. Bring down my decimal point. Nine minus seven, two. One minus one, nothing. So the change that Joe gets is $2.93.